Can you imagine a situation where hardworking workers aren't able to even take a bathroom break or quench their thirst and are insulted? Sounds like a total nightmare to me. But wait till you watch these moments. That, that time we was in Atlanta, we didn't have no polish on. We had to go a couple, uh, about a mile up the road. Our man Bill Massa, the big cheese at Sinagro, decides to rock the undercover vibe. He's driving into the daily grind to witness the real deal. And guess what? One worker got him wide-eyed and floored. The curious bit is whether Bill will be able to match his skills with the employees there. Go down a little bit. Okay. Okay, they went too far. Oh, too far? Okay. Our dude cranked that lever a tad too much, and whoopsie, our worker's wearing a frown. But here's the kicker. He bailed out Bill. Motors MIA. But this manager's move? Utterly epic. This manager then explains what happened and why it happened. Hey, can we all talk about how cooperative the manager is with him? I didn't break it, did I? He pulled the lever down. Don't pull it down all the way down. That, that kills the motor. Ha, don't worry, guys. This employee did start the motor again, relieving the CEO. That got him worried for a sec. They're diving deep into the rough stuff. Machines, off. Team, splashing into that mucky water for some hands-on action. And hold up, the twist? This employee is about to reveal something which scares Bill a little. I tell you, some of the pawns have like uh, gators be in them. If that wasn't enough, this employee showed Bill proof that he wasn't just joking around and, well, the clip is pretty scary. The sun doesn't cut them any slack and the mucky water is killing them as well. Matter of fact, I can show you some right here. Okay, that's the alligator that we caught. No. So after that heart pounding moment and catching a glimpse of the grind, our buddy here swoops in like a hero with a refreshing H2O fix. How awesome is that? But hold on to your hats, because there's a story tied to that innocent water bottle that's going to blow your mind. What you need might not be there. I keep my cool and I buy my water for myself, Carl. They have to bring their own water? How cruel is that? Especially in a job as dangerous as this. You think that was the only bit? No, folks. It's so much more than that. Here, take a look at what this employee is about to say next. That, that time we was in Atlanta, we didn't have no polish on. We had to go a couple, uh, about a mile up the road. Whoa, and there are no bathroom facilities. How cruel is that? Bill is not happy with the situation at all, and in fact, is quite saddened by it. Like, no porta potties? They at least deserve basic amenities. We understand water is gold, but what about those employees who are working so hard from dusk till dawn? When Melvin told me at some of the job sites there aren't even porta potties, I find that to be unacceptable. Bill and Melvin engage in a real heart to heart about the crazy work setup. And what Melvin spills next? Brace yourselves, because it's a real ugly truth you won't see coming. Melvin says, Some even say that, We, you smell so bad. Melvin, on the other hand, is super proud of his job and he shows so much respect to it. That's off. 90% of the time, you're going to be going away from home. 90%. You're going to be going away from home. Wow. Why don't feel good about it? She don't feel good, but she knows I got to work. The moment of truth has arrived for Melvin as the secret understudy is unmasked by none other than Bill himself. Get ready, because Bill's spilling the beans on all those undercover chats. And trust me, this heart to heart exchange is pure heartwarming goodness. Because of our conversation, we are going to add a vision plan for the medical benefits next year. Oh, man. I... Meet Kim Schaefer, the big shot CEO of Great Wolf Resorts turned undercover supermom. Watch as she swaps her boardroom for an apron, jetting off to Mason, Ohio to join the ranks as a server. This ain't no ordinary gig. It's a whopping 23% income contributor to the Great Wolf Lodge. Kim's partnered with a dynamic Deanna, diving headfirst into the restaurant frenzy. Let the hustle begin. Well done. well done. Okay, so here's a timber burger. What do they want? Cheese? Yikes, she forgot to ask that again. So while Kim's in the trenches, things aren't exactly a walk in the park. But fear not, Deanna's riding shotgun, guiding her through the twists and turns. Yet it dawns on Deanna that Kim, or Chris, might not be the detail whiz this job calls for. Cue the realization. The server path might not be their calling. Waitressing is the one job that I thought I would be able to do. Chris is on a mission to bond with this employee, diving into a deep heart-to-heart -heart chat. Lo and behold, during this soulful convo, the employee spills the beans on something that leaves Chris absolutely mind blown. I never really look on what, how much tip I make. I just pray. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Deanna spills the beans on her tip strategy. No counting to keep the good vibes flowing. 
Chris is vibing along, having a blast connecting with the employee. But wait for it, buckle up, cause the emotional roller coaster is about to take a dip into a downward spiral. Brace yourselves for the twist ahead. I work doubles and I'm like afraid I walk out with something in my hand. Right. Chris totally digs Deanna's upbeat vibe and her whole follow the sunshine outlook. Big props to Deanna for juggling work and mom life like a champ. Deanna just shrugs it off with a cool, life's too short, you know? Hold on to your hats, folks, because what comes next is going to leave you floored. I lost my daughter about 11 years ago, and my philosophy is live every single day like it's your last. Talk about flipping the script from joy to a total bummer. Chris's upbeat vibe takes a nosedive as the weight of Deanna's story sinks in. Genuine sadness washes over Chris like a wave. But wait, there's more to Deanna's tale, and she's not done sharing yet. She was nine years old. She was nine years old when she passed away. Oh. It was a car accident. Deanna's spilling more beans. She's now juggling another tiny human in the mix. Yep, you heard right. She's a total supermom taking care of a new baby on top of everything. Through all the darkness, Deanna's resilience shines like a supernova, radiating positivity like a boss. It was just hard hearing her story. It was really hard to hear that. I couldn't imagine that. Alrighty, folks, here comes the big reveal. Chris steps up to the plate. After getting hit right in the feels by Deanna's tearjerker tail, Chris is about to drop a bombshell of kindness that'll leave Deanna's jaw on the floor and her heart overflowing with gratitude. So for the next six months, I'm gonna actually pay you to stay home. Uh -huh. Okay? <laughs> Phil Couchman, the big boss at DHL UK, went incognito for a sneak peek behind the scenes of his own gig. And guess who he teams up with? None other than Marcelo, a contract worker who's brought his Brazilian flair to England. Buckle up, cause this one's a wild ride, packed with emotions at every twist and turn. About 120 stops all together. That's pretty busy, huh? It is. Phil's blown away during those initial two drop-offs by Marcelo's killer attitude. This dude's got some serious positivity mojo going on, and it's not lost on Phil. Talk about a solid first impression, right? Phil's nodding his head in approval at Marcelo's awesome outlook on the job. Incredibly, Marcelo averages delivery of one parcel every two minutes. It's pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so picture this. On the way to the next stop, Couchman gets hit with a curveball about Marcelo. Turns out, Marcelo's not locked in as a full-blown DHL member which means no job safety net or perks. And get this, Marcelo spills that he's been eyeballing the exit door, considering a switch to a rival crew for better dough and perks. It's a real head scratcher, isn't it? But he did admit being a DHL employee is a thousand times better than any other position. As a self-employee, everyone knows you can get, you can go the sack anytime. Time for a breather. Phil and Marcelo kick back and shoot the breeze. Marcelo spills the beans about his backstory. Turns out his fam hit a rough patch back in Brazil, and they hightailed it out of there to chase the green. What he reveals next will truly shock you. I sent about half my wage home. The other half of the money pay my bills down here. Dude, talk about a touch gig seriously. Marcelo's out here juggling life like a champ, sending a chunk of his cash back home to keep his folks afloat. They're riding on his superhero shoulders for survival. But hey, the convo keeps rolling. And do you miss them? A lot. And a they lot. miss you? A lot. Aw, oh, no doubt about it. They're all feeling that separation pang. Marcelo spills the beans, saying, I want to chat with them daily. But sometimes, we both get all teary-eyed. Now, here's the kicker. After being wowed by Marcelo's top-notch vibes and killer work mojo, Couchman whisks him off to the corporate HQ for a major league unveiling. Get ready for the big reveal, folks. I'm full of admiration for you for the way th that you do your job. It's time for the grand unveiling, and there's Marcelo rocking that signature grin of his. Phil takes the spotlight, dishing out the scoop that Marcelo's a bona fide rock star for DHL. But wait, there's more. Phil spills the beans about being seriously impressed by Marcelo's fam first vibe. Phil's all, your story touched my heart, man. Helping your folks? That's some next level hero stuff right there. Right. For full-time employment, regular salary, the pension, fully paid holidays. Marcelo's got himself a sweet, stable paycheck now. But wait, hold your horses, cause the surprises ain't over yet. Phil's got another card up his sleeve, and Marcelo's on cloud nine, beaming with happiness and a whole lot of gratitude. 
Stay tuned, because this roller coaster is not done yet. I'm going to fly you home to Brazil. <laughs> you can go home and... Aw, oh, talk about boss moves. Marcelo's over the moon with gratitude. This has to be the coolest boss move he's ever seen. He's so blown away, he's like, wait up, is this for real? Marcelo's so mind blown, he's ready to play detective and double check if Phil Couchman really is the CEO. Now that's some serious disbelief, folks. I'm not the actor, that's me. A little more hair, I'll get another one with, with another governor. No joke, Couchman's like, yo, I'm the real deal CEO, and proves it by flashing legit company gear with his mug and title. Marcelo's disbelief goes poof and cue the waterworks. He's totally choked up realizing he's landed a rock solid gig, stability, and even a ticket to Brazil for some family love. Phil steps in to say, The contract is the contract. It's a real contract. You bet, absolutely. Wow, my goodness. That's all for today, guys. Let us know your thoughts on this one. Now, these were some moments when the bosses found out about their employees' poor working conditions. But have you seen these moments where employees got their bosses in danger? If not, head to our channel to know more. Until next time.